Kelly Hill has coached a national team member every year since 1989 and has been a national coach in 1994, 2000, 2003, 2004, and so on. She was the personal coach of an Olympian for each of those four Olympic Games. Kelly has placed three different gymnasts on Olympic teams, which include Dominique Dawes, Elise Ray, and Courtney Cuppets. She has also recently coached Kayla DiCello, who was an alternate for the 2020 Olympics. She was the head coach of the USA Women's Olympic Team in 2000 and 2004, and was the head coach for USA Women at the 1994, 1996, 1999, and 2003 World Championships. Dawes trained under coach Kelly Hill at Hills Gymnastics, about 12 miles away from Dawes Future Academy in Clarksburg. Dawes does not currently speak to Hill, though over the past couple years she did. In recent interviews, Dawes is careful not to mention the name of her former coach in Childhood Gym, but she admits that people will begin to put the pieces together. There are definitely those life skills that you learn that help you achieve in life. She says of the lessons that she learned at Hills Gymnastics. I think, Dawes says, setting goals and trying to achieve those goals are great, but anything about true friendship, happiness, well, that's truly what's going to make you fulfilled in this world, and I did not learn that there. Reach for comment from a 2020 article. Hill says that she hasn't seen much of Dawes the last two years, but that they've been very, very close in the past, calling her more like family than anything else, and offering to help any way I can with launching her academy. I've reached out many times, Hill adds. She's not responded. Hill has heard Dawes talk about her desire to change the culture in gymnastics compared to what she experienced as a child, but Hill says that she has no idea what Dawes is referring to. Dawes, for her part, sounds ready to move on. What I'm saying is, I feel very free now, at 43 years old, to speak my truth. And there's nothing that I'm doing that is embellishing or is not truthful. I know that as a parent, I would not have my kid in the environment that I was in. It's common in abusive relationships to not register that the victim has been abused until years later. Jim Turnett stated that she had an interview with both Dawes and Hill and that they were on speaking terms, but things must have changed since 2016. This could have been after the Jim Alliance movement came out, which encouraged former gymnasts to speak about the abuse they endured. This could have made Dawes think more clearly about, hey, maybe this happened to me too. She spoke during COVID in reference to her being 12 years old. I remember the times when I would hide in a bathroom for a whole five hour training session because I was too terrified to go out and work on a particular move and to know that at a young person's fear and emotional health was completely ignored just breaks my heart. There's a lot of unhealthy people still involved in the sport and that's why there does need to be an internal investigation of USA Gymnastics. Elise Ray, Kayla DiCello, Courtney Cuppets, and many others went off to college, and to this day, they have not talked badly on Hill. Hill and Dawes have had a very close relationship, almost unhealthy, where Dawes would spend the nights at Hill's house, eventually living with them, and Hill would pay for her medical bills when needed. It's hard to make a conclusion if Hill is an abusive coach since Dawes grew up in an environment where most of this culture was accepted. But comparing her tens of other athletes, I can't help but stay neutral that she may or may not be a safe coach. From a personal standpoint, she may not be a good person because of some of the controversial statements that have been made from her over the past couple of years. Again, I don't think or really know if she is a toxic coach because we haven't really seen any verbal abuse or physical abuse, but I can't say that she is a great person with some of the things she's done in the past with USAG. But I'm going to give her the benefit of doubt that some of these statements have been made a couple years ago and she could have grown with the culture but I really have no idea. It's pretty neutral at this point.